Tonight, the city of L.A. wants to crack down on anti-mask protesters, large groups that taunt and confront people in local malls and stores. Now, the city wants bigger fines and to make it easier to arrest people who do it. Kicker Line's Candace Crone has our story tonight. A crowd of maskless protesters invaded the Westfield Century City Mall last week, shouting at customers and almost coming to blows with employees over a mandate that requires everyone wear a mask in public places to help slow the spread of coronavirus. If you know, if it happened here in the store, I, I would be a little nervous and a little scared because, you know, it's not something we should really be messing around with. Madeline Vasquez says she's thankful she hasn't had to deal with aggressive maskless customers at paper source and city leaders want to keep it that way. Today, the city council voted to create hefty fines for people refusing to wear a face covering inside a business. It would also crack down on folks invading someone's personal space, which has led to many confrontations over recent weeks. We want to be able to enforce against sort of an assault of uh, spreading of COVID. Councilman Paul Corrett says the ordinance would allow different city departments that can write citations to do so if they come in contact with people not covering their nose and mouth while around others. If uh, a park ranger, for instance, is in a park and they see uh, a football game with 40 players, they can feel free to either warn everybody and chase them off or they can write citations. You need the masses. You guys are all going to get sick. Corrett says city officials need to be more aggressive in enforcing the mask mandate as COVID-19 cases continue to skyrocket across the state. Protesters have vowed to continue to target businesses with similar maskless invasions, and that worries employees like Vasquez. There are customers out there who still find it a bit of a nuisance, but I think it's still very necessary. We asked several people out and about tonight. Everyone overwhelmingly supported tougher restrictions on mask wearing. Just keep common courtesy for others because you don't know if they have a lower immune system. Now we're almost going into the year, a year, so I think it's only fair that people should really have their act together by now. The council gave the green light for the city attorney to draft the ordinance, which could include a $250 fine for the first offense and a $500 penalty for the second. I'm Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News.